Kyron vlogging, you love to see it. We're hitting it off the iPhone because I don't know why. Honestly, it's just easier to do it off the iPhone. I know I have the G7X, but it makes a lot more sense sometimes to hit you guys with the iPhone footage. Hold up. Okay, your boy is back. My bad for the brief intermission. I just, I was looking at myself and I was like, your boy did not do the skincare routine. So that's actually funny. I'll transition to that briefly talking about that. Some people ask me to do a skincare routine, not really a lifestyle channel per se. Like I wouldn't consider myself one. Obviously fashion and lifestyle and all that tie into one another. But I personally don't feel like that's something that I'm comfortable with doing because I don't even feel like my face is like where I want it to be yet. Like I'm still testing out certain things. I suffer with acne. I'm still in the midst of like talking and consulting with dermatologists right now, which I consider a lot of you guys too as well, because I myself am not a doctor or a dermatologist. So that being said, until I get my thing down to a science, I don't even know once I get down to that point that I'll be comfortable with sharing that because I don't even know. But yes, for all you guys like jabbing me about my nose in the comments, something that I'm insecure about. I know I put myself in the spotlight by being on YouTube, but yes, I'm a, I'm a human too, you know what I mean? So yes, my nose breaks out here and there. I'm talking with the dermatologist. I'm gonna get it solved soon. But that's not what you guys are here to hear about. I'm here to talk to you guys about fashion, obviously. We're gonna do a little vlog today. I'm gonna run through a couple different things. Obviously, this is gonna be a compilation of a bunch of different footage that I've amassed over on my iPhone, my handy dandy iPhone. So. We're gonna get into some nitbits that I wanted to touch on right now. I, was like, I know another kid who has these. It's almost like you're like seeing this shit in person. This is just a very monumental moment. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like this is something real here. Cheers. Manji, They're gonna be like, why is Joseph naked in the background? <laughs> you know what you said, man. We're gonna fucking battle royale for these boys. Let's mm -hmm. bun kick. I'll switch for these. Let's push. Look at this. Yeah, Did that's a cobbler. Yeah, no, no, he didn't add it, but the person that owned it before, it's like a cobbler patch so wow. that you don't get heel so drag. Not but look, because they had it before. Did they resole? Yeah, oh, it's a resole. Oh, multiple times. Ah. Yeah, sure, for one, buddy. I did. You would have done something like this. This shoe probably ages. <laughs> I love how I have this. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> I need a better iPhone for this shit. James, you want to trade iPhones? I'm giving away iPhones. I don't even have the new iPhone. It's horrible. I'm down bad right now. This is something I want to show to you guys. Um, because I noticed Greg, my boy, another fellow YouTuber on the platform, he was talking about sunglasses being the perfect accessory to spice things up. And I'm personally a huge fan of sunglasses and I just found this amazing case right here to hold all of my sunglasses. So before I was storing it in a weird uh, component in my drawer, I'll just whip to it right here. All of it was in here, my Celine's, all of that. And then I recently, went to a visual display store where I got my racks to house all of the clothing, of course. Same place that I got my racks. I don't think it'll be much use for you guys because it's a local store to Montreal and they're closed right now due to the pandemic and everything like that and lockdown. But they have these literally these amazing storage for your sunglasses and actually Corey from vintage frames had something similar but i believe he was charging a lot more for these and he wasn't even really selling them on the market to like celebrities and stuff like that maybe he would sell it to but not many actual everyday customers would have these and he'd probably like sell one that would be like three slots like that but obviously have a lot more sunglasses than just three slots so it was very useful for me to get something like this. I would probably get another one if I even fill up this one, but I have a good couple of slots to fill up. So once it's actually full, I'll probably do a sunglass collection because like it looks, it doesn't look complete. So, you know, I'll probably only hit you guys with this little teaser right now. If you guys recognize any from outfits or you guys know the brands, then you know what's up. But until then, 
I'll be holding off on the sunglasses video until I fill up the rest of these, just cause that's the way I am. What's up, you guys? So, we're actually on another day, a whole other day. I think it's Thursday today. I'm doing a shoot with Pombo and Meg's the first joint shoot together. So, in a little studio bathroom right now. I'm gonna get changed. I'm gonna show you guys a little BTS and stuff. That's my silent good check. <laughs> I love these glasses. This is Kyron's double juice. It's really good though. Yeah, no, it's a really nice bean. Quick little room storage update. Figured I might as well tell you guys what's going on. It's the nighttime, I'm tired, but we're continuing continuing this vlog. So basically, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll probably take you around, might as well. This right here is what you guys normally see, which is the main shelf unit with all the black boots and mainly all my boots for that matter, or bulkier sneakers, such as the Rick Owens, and the, yeah, just the Rick Owens, everything else is boots. But now, 
we extended it and I got this right here. Hopefully, if I get everything in frame, yeah, I think that's good. So now we got this whole situation here. So if you guys want to get one of these of your own, this is called the Lack Shelf. It's from Ikea. Floating shelves, that's the only shelves we do around here. It's the best thing ever because literally it's just so minimal and just simplistic and that's what you really want out of a room. You don't really want to have any of the brackets showing. I just find it takes a useless space for no reason when you could just obviously have a floating shelf and yeah i ended up getting this one which is pretty much those two combined and i didn't even know they sold this one because when i originally started looking for floating shelves they only showed me the smaller one so if i could do it over again i would just get this but at least now i know and for future reference i would probably have like a whole shoe wall shoe wall once i have the space for it it would just be like a bunch of these stacked and then i could just have a full shoe wall just because i like having everything on display i feel like that's the best way to do it unless i have like the little sneaker head type beat cases but i feel like this is uh, more of my alley more fashion forward so i'm gonna have a couple of like my favorite sneakers up here uh for the most part but i might actually put like some of my books and stuff like that make it a bit more tasteful since it is above my tv and the other one is like fully loaded with shoes so i don't really want to crowd it with too many shoes but there will be a little bit of shoes in there but figured i'd update you guys if you guys want to get one of your own i'll link it in the description so you guys can check it out okay so james brought me to this thai place this looks crazy on the camera i'm off the iphone still got a little egg on there it's thai food crispy pork what did you get james i got some pad too Oh, the smoke coming off of it. Mm. Oh, who needs a camera? The iPhone's going crazy right now. Um, James and I are basically going to go hit up my friend Talib's like, shop. They have a bunch of like designer pieces at a discount and a bunch of shoes, which is fine. And uh, I see the first bite. Got a little first bite. Get a little first bite in there. Good bite, though. <laughs> the steam oh. is hitting oh. off of it, which is crazy. First review. You haven't had this one, right? Because right? Mm -hmm. you had it before, but not this plate. That's gas. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I probably look like a little mushroom right now, but <laughs> taking the first bite. I'm winter ready, you guys. First bite, a little rice. Rice is good. And then we got to get the little... Oh, they weren't playing when they said crispy pork. Very crispy. <laughs> oh, so crispy. Oh, so crispy. So we're going to show you guys when we're back. At the leave spot, I'm gonna show you some pieces. James also has a little piece for me, so I'm gonna try that on. Yes, sir. Go see you soon. We're at James's house right now. Sorry if it's noisy. I'm gonna try to cut it off. Okay, hopefully that's better. We're at James's house right now. We're just waiting to for him to get the dog. Um, we're probably gonna go to Thirdborn, which is James's. Like baby is basically his whole job right now. Thirdborn is basically like a secondhand men's wear platform where they do rentals, etc. Lots of archive, lots of like newer brands, stuff like that. So we're gonna go there just cause we wanted to touch base there and kill some time until we end up going to our friend's warehouse where he has all the um, clothing that we're gonna go look through because we, we went there before. You might've seen some clips before, but I didn't really give you guys any context. So uh, they have like really good pieces pieces for really good prices. Like the piece I'm looking at right now is this Bottega jacket. That's beautiful. And James is looking at a Teddy jacket from Santa Ha. So I'll show you both of those once we're there. And yeah, also you'll get to see Onyx, his dog, which is amazing. So tapping with you soon sorry i look like a, a mushroom right now but uh gotta have you know, balaclava on basically i'm using this as a mask and it's also cold outside so it's a win-win this is onyx Cutest Frenchie in the world.
James got us wellness shots. Got to stay well. Got to stay well. This is my second of the day because I made one before I work out. Worked out this morning. Oof. Oof. I'm not ready. Woo! Jason. It's a double gulp. Oh, that's hot. It's hot. Onyx, the shit ain't for you. Yeah, Onyx, your bum will be burning forever. <laughs> this. Let's try the drink. What did you put in the drink? Um, Apple, strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and blackberries. Okay. Did you just try it out? Like y'all trying something new? He doesn't understand transparent stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, try like... to jump through glass tables. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. It tastes a lot of the apple. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well. Yeah. Um, basically what happened was we were doing some runarounds, James and I, and like time ran short because now we're on cur curfew basically so we, everyone has to be inside the house by eight we were gonna go to the spot to go look at the clothes and everything like i said in the last clip at around six but then my friend got carried away with whatever he was doing and then it was coming too close to the time because then i would have to get dropped off home then james would have to go home then someone could get a ticket get a thousand four hundred dollar ticket or whatever it is it's insane so we ended up rescheduling we'll probably go back on friday so i'll continue filming but in the meantime i'm back i just wanted to give you guys some context and it's funny because at least now i could get into this package i know what this is shout out to keezy for showing love this is definitely my favorite hat he's dropped so far i'm excited to see his pants that he's set to release soon if you guys haven't watched keezy yet which i'm sure you have because literally we have like the same kind of target audience i would say which is like streetwear high-end vintage fashion youtube <laughs> which is a pretty niche market but i'm glad that there's so much appeal an interest in it now on the platform that we have. So trying my best not to cut myself. I hope I didn't stab the hat just now. I swear I'm better with unboxings than this people. Woo. Okay. We have the packaging right here. Beautiful little pack. Already have the SF one of this. Haven Court cap. Love the packaging, really, really nice. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice in person, bro. Love, love New York Yankee caps. And this is just it with a little flare. Really nice. I seen in his recent vlog that he puts the stickers on each one, which is crazy because we all already know how the factories be acting up. They be messing up all the time, so really appreciate this keezy you're crazy with it you're going nuts with haven court i'm excited to see the other product that you put out it's really inspiring to see um, other people on the platform creating their own product so go check them out haven court these are probably sold out already but he's definitely gonna be dropping more items so check it out I 
go off, Dan. Like, I wear it that looks like a, a vintage, like, Levi's. Okay. It's not the vibe I was doing. Yeah, no, for sure. And I just, I got the a Celine one recently. With the haircut, you know, it's very professional. Table for how many? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I got this sent to me from the regime a while ago. They had this, like, sprinter truck pull up to my house, and... I had it in the corner of my room because I just like have a bunch of boxes like hoarded in here and I completely forgot about it. But I wanted to show it on the vlog for you guys. So I figured it was, a, it was, sorry, I'm like probably mashing it up already. But anyway, here, we'll do a quick little unboxing for you guys. So it was this thing they did with Havana Club, this collaboration. It was like this whole public relations box they sent me, this PR thing. They have this. And then they got me with the alcohol. Drink responsibly, blah, blah, blah. If you're too young, don't do it. But then they sent me these whiskey cups for two, which is really nice. They're thick too, they're pretty heavy. I don't wanna break them, but we'll put them here for now. Actually, we'll keep this here. What is this, like some mineral water? Gotta swap that out with the ginger beer. And then I think this might be a hoodie. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is black Havana Club regime hoodie. I don't know if I want to look like an alcoholic in the street, but definitely I'll wear this inside the house. This is really, really cool. But I love, I love, love having like branded alcohol bottles or whatever like collaboration bottles like i have the st woods one too i just end up just keeping them in the house which is nice all right so we're here at third born a couple days later from the last whatever clip i shot last but this is a topic i kind of wanted to end off the vlog with which is raf reissue we kind of like talked about this a bit on the channel but not too much and especially now since it's in person i felt like i could get a bit more of your guys's input of what you guys feel about reissue stuff this I remember being like super coveted by like everyone pretty much. And James from Third Born has What's like up? pretty much a decent amount of the range. He has like two pieces and two of each. So if you guys need any of it, definitely hit him up. But I just want to show how it fits, which is really crazy because I've never seen the actual one in person, but I love the way it fits. It's really, really cool. Yeah, this is a one. Yeah, that's a one. It goes up to four or three? It goes up to two. Two? Yeah. That's how it fits on him. He's wearing, what are they, 04 Dior? Uh, these are 06. 06. Yeah. Dior, Eddie Salon. Pants. Crazy wash. Really dope. Shout out to RD Archive for those. Yes, sir. And then the puddle boots. But the fit of the sweater is beautiful. Really, really nice. Gives you kind of like a... JC Chiro vibe, Gizmo vibe, but old Raph definitely. If they did the fittings identical, if any of you guys know like how the original one fits, tell me how accurate that is because I've never seen one. But they also had this. I was lucky enough to see the hoodie of this in person, and the print is pretty identical. Obviously, I don't think it has the same coating as the original one, but the print is pretty spot on. And the back's fire too. Yeah, shut it back. Pretty cool, but kind yeah. of weird how like there's like four of them in the room. It just doesn't yeah, feel it right. doesn't feel right. That's yeah. what we we're talking about. We we're talking about like how it just doesn't feel right to have like this just available in the room. Like when we used to see this online, we we're like, oh man, we'll probably never see this yeah, like, yeah. ever, you know? But now it's here, so. It's crazy. I want to know you guys' feedback in the comments. How do you feel about reissue 
garments, is it pretentious to not want it to come back? Or do you feel like it's cool that people have access to it? I don't know. I don't know how to feel, honestly. I'm kind of like torn. Cause I love the original, like but I would never spend like 12 grand for that sweater. I think it's cool. I'm definitely like happy that I could have this. Cause yeah. I probably would never have Cause you're gonna own. like beat it now, which is crazy. Yeah. And I probably but definitely still have an appreciation for the OG. Yeah. Like this isn't the same shit. Yeah. What's the retail on that? If, so this people was uh, 655. 655. Canadian. So from 655 Canadian to 12 grand USD ungrailed. Yeah, but like I also get it. Cause like, for example, like even with sneakers, like the OGs yeah. versus the retro. It's yeah. Like, I'm still gonna pop a retro because I want the shoe and appreciate the design behind the shoe. But at the same time, like, I still exactly. want the OG. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? no, it's very true. Like a lot of people have to take that into consideration. Like fashion, everyone doesn't really believe in this whole concept of retroing, but people in sneakers have been doing it for forever. Like there's been the same Jordan, like how many times, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, like how many of your friends wear the 85s? Probably not many. Not many, so, like, not too many. You gotta look at it like that too. Yeah. I think it's a bit different with this type of stuff. Yeah. Like I know like, even I felt kind of funny buying more than one of each of them because like I get the like flip culture is like kind of whack. Uh -huh. but at the same time, like I wanted to be able to keep one. So And then also I you also wanted, wanted to it to be accessible to like people that shop with me because mm -hmm. the Nebraska it wasn't really like something we could buy online. Yeah, so yeah exactly. Figured someone would enjoy it. For sure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll probably wrap it up here. Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. We'll see you guys out.